Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hong. So two weeks ago, I briefly mentioned about the Indian variant coronavirus, and I promised I'll give you an update when there are new findings. So this week there are some new findings, and we are going to have a second look on this topic. If this is your first time here, I'm Dr. Han. I teach full time in a U.S. pharmacy school. My goal for this channel is to connect everyone with scientific fact. So without further ado, let's dive into the topic today. So, like I said at the beginning, today we're going to talk about this Indian variant and why we should not call this double variant anymore. And along with some good and small bad news about this variant. First, a disclaimer: This video is my summary and interpretation of publicly available scientific information. This video does not serve as any advice on treatment, diagnosis, and preventions of any diseases. And if I ever mention any commercial company in my video, I do not have any affiliations with them. So two weeks ago, I talked about how vaccine is still our best bet to fight different variants. If you want to learn more about that topic, you can go to the link down below and up at the box after you watch this video. So two weeks ago, we still didn't know too much about the Indian variant, and just this week, we have some brand new information, and we're gonna take a deeper look this one. So this week's central question is: What more do we know about the Indian variant B one six one seven, and why double mutant is a terrible name? What is the updated clinical relevance, and how India variant has changed even more than it was first reported? And what do we need to watch for regarding this new variant? Let's look at the first fact: Why double mutant is a terrible name? So the official designation for this Indian variant is B one six one seven. It actually has thirteen different mutations, and three of the mutations are happen on the spike protein. It has been detected and reported in twenty other countries, and in fact,、uh, we call it double because there are two most concerning mutations. The first one being the L four five two R, which is also found in Cal dot twenty C, which is a California variant, and the second notable mutation is this E four eight four. Q, which is similar to the E four eight four K, found on South Africa and Brazil variants, and that's why we term it double mutant. But in fact, we should not be calling them anymore, and you'll find out why at the end. And fact number two: What is the updated clinical relevance? So the latest finding regarding this Indian variant actually came from Dr. Gupta's lab at Cambridge, and very recently they released a Twitter post. Now notice these Twitter posts are not peer reviewed. Along with their wordings, there is this data picture they release, trying to explain the differences in antibody neutralization when comparing the wild type and different mutations. And let's take a look of what this graph means. Now the blue dots represented in the graph are meaning those are the wild type without any of those mutations, which is the baseline for our comparisons. And the red dot represents the mutation E484K found in the Brazil and South Africa variants. And those two variants, we know that it has a tenfold decrease in antibody neutralization compared to the wild type blue dot. All right, and the next one is the green dot. Now the green dot is the new E484Q variant found in the Indian variant, which actually have some similar effect to the red dot, but not as bad. It has a six-fold decrease in antibody neutralization. And to continue this graph, the next mutation here is the purple dot. The purple dot represents the L452R mutation. It actually shows no different than the blue dot in terms of escaping neutralization from antibodies. And lastly, we have the yellowish orange dot, okay, which is a combination of data when we look at both mutations, the double mutation, quote unquote. So, which is the E484Q and the L452R mutation, put it together, it shows fourfold decrease in antibody neutralization. 
but the green dot and purple dot very interestingly does not seem to add up together to make the case worse when compared to one of the mutation alone. So in fact, the Indian variant has already changed even more and let's look at it how. And here we are looking at the data coming from a UK source. This B1617 has already changed into a different form, which is dubbed B1617.2 versions. Now this two versions actually dropped the green E484Q mutation. It's probably because this green mutation does not give any advantage to the virus and that's why it dropped this mutation. Now notice the spreading of this variant is very fast, actually faster in UK than any other foreign variants that is happening in the country. So it's spreading quite fast. What do we need to watch for? Again here we are looking at a data trend provided by the UK source and it is showing this B1617.2 variant is spreading similarly as the UK B117 variants. Looking at the trajectory here on the right hand side you can notice they are very similar. But however, the overall cases currently in UK is decreasing. So it makes you wonder, does that mean the lockdown is not working as well as before, even with the overall decreasing cases? This B1617.2 variant is spreading very, very quickly. Here is the take-home message for this week. This Indian variant B1617 has actually way more than two mutations. However, they do have two significant mutations, which is the E484Q and L452R. They do not seem to appear to be working together to boost its ability to escape the antibodies. This data is coming out from Gupta Lab. And this B1617 is already mutating into a B1617.2 form and in the process it is dropping this E484Q mutation. And this dot two variant is spreading like the B117 UK variant in the country, uh, United Kingdom. And we will need to watch for its current development in the coming weeks to months. So to learn more about this topic, here is the link for Gupta Labs Twitter post and also the source that I look up for UK reports. So I hope you find out more about this new Indian variant after this video. If you want to stay connected with scientific fact and follow my regular COVID-19 update series, please consider hitting the subscribe button and like this video. This channel needs your help to reach more people. So that is all for this week and I'll see you again next Sunday. And meanwhile, please stay safe and healthy. Bye.